Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> Can't get you out of my. How's it going, everybody? Dragas here, and welcome back to another episode of the best Besiege creations. So before we get into the actual creations, this has been a pretty big week for Besiege. There's been some really cool new blocks added that are going to change the way Besiege is played. So I'm showing all three of them here. We actually have a new camera block, we have an unpowered large wheel, and then we have the firework or rocket launcher. Now the camera block is going to be huge because that pretty much allows you to have cockpits and uh, the first person view that I've been needing to fly a lot of things. And you can actually edit this quite a bit as you can see, you can edit the distance out and it just shows the nice little camera here so you can see where it is, you can adjust the height, rotation, I mean you get the idea and tilt. The unpowered large wheel, well it's an unpowered large wheel, I think it's going to help with a few creations but that's not the block that we're going to focus on today and then we also got the firework or rocket launcher where you can change the explosive color so that's kind of why it's a firework, you can change the explosive charge, you can also change the thrust of it and of course the flight duration so if you do want to make actual fireworks so that looks good like that and let's just do this really quickly so you guys can see of course you can change between cameras now and it's really cool you can actually also move this around and then it just snaps back into place when you're done playing with the camera so a brilliant idea and then of course the very cool rocket with the explosions so now that I showed you some of the new blocks it's time to see what kind of creations these things can make so to start off with we got this very awesome sniper rifle that utilizes the camera mod to kind of use it as a scope so I'm moving the gun right now, it's a little bit wobbly, I kind of like this, this is really cool. The only thing it doesn't have is a crosshair. Now I can actually zoom in and out as well, so we kind of want to get it right in the middle here. And then, assuming my aim is correct, I should get that guy right in the middle. Let's try it out. There we go! Oh my god! I got two! Let me zoom out and see. So I don't even know what the hell I just shot, but that was freaking awesome. Alright, let's try again here. We, we do have a, quite a few shots. I think we got five shots. So this guy's going down now. Oh my god! I still don't know what I'm shooting because it's shooting so damn fast, but I'm assuming it's like a blast gun or something. Alright, here we go again. Oh, I missed that time. Something went on in the back there. That was so funny. Okay, but let's zoom in and make sure we get this sucker. He's got to be right in the middle of the frame here. There we go. This guy's dead. No, he's not. What the hell? Can he survive the final shot? Let's find out. No, he cannot. Okay, I'm actually going to reset this because I just want to see what the hell I was shooting. All right, and I'm going to try and no scope these guys. Okay, I'm just trying to aim it up here. That looks pretty good. Let's try that. Oh, it is a blast gun. And well, I didn't shoot anybody. But I knocked down part of the castle and killed at least like three of them. So yeah, already I am so damn pumped about these new creations. This right here is something that you would have never seen in Besiege last week, but now it is part of this game. This is just awesome. Okay, and this next design is extremely friggin' cool. Basically, it's a tower defense game. We have to guard this tower with this turret from these incoming, I guess they're quadcopters. Now, these things are all automated. All we have to do is start aiming this thing and utilize our rockets wisely because we only have eight shots to take down three of these guys. They're gonna start shooting at this thing when I press the button to do so. So let's try this thing out. I'm ready to go and here we go. I'm gonna press the button to start the simulation. Bam, okay, so I'm, why am I looking this way? This is the worst way to be looking. Okay, they're coming in. I don't know how accurate these rockets are. I don't know if I should wait or not. I'm going to, you know what, let's try one out and see what happens here. Yeah, these are extremely extremely inaccurate so I gotta be very careful with these rockets here I'm gonna try another one though I'm feeling good about it no I'm not okay this guy's getting really freaking close though he's bothering me oh that god I, I only got five shots left oh this is bullshit okay you know what you're coming right above me there we go come on that's got <laughs> it's Jesus Christ yes I got one okay and we hit the other one as well didn't we oh shit well, I guess we lost. Let's let's try again. All right, now that we know how inaccurate this thing is, I'm going to take my time and be patient. I still don't think I'm going to be able to get all these down. It's going to take a freaking miracle to do so. Still really freaking cool, though. Okay, this guy is the guy I have to worry about because he's constantly far away. So I have to get this guy down right away. Come on, please. Please. That didn't hit his propeller. That's bullshit. There we go. I got him down. And next one. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, there! That should have freaking hit it. Oh, these rockets are so inaccurate. Did I hit it? I didn't hit it there? This is so bullshit. 
And I, did I just hit that? I think I just hit it. Oh my God. Well, I am out of rockets, so I think I have lost once again. I still want to keep playing this, though. This is so damn fun. All right, one more try here, and we should be good. Okay, so we got really close last time. I think we got two out of three, technically. So let's see if we can get all three this time. Okay, this one. You know what? It seems to go to the right all the time, so I'm going to wait for it to be right about there. That's got to be it. Oh, what the fuck? How did that not hit it? This is bullshit. Okay, you know what? This guy's here, so let's take this guy out. If I freaking can, this these these rockets do not work. There we go! Jesus! And once again, the tower has fallen. Clearly, I'm awful at tower defense games now, aren't I? Regardless, still an amazing creation here. Uh, all these things are automated. That's seriously impressive. All I'm controlling is the turret. Okay, and next up, we got a racing weaponized quadcopter design. And the main reason I'm showing this one is because it's the first aerial vehicle that I found that allows for first person. So, let's actually try and fly up a bit here. Oh, this looks just so much cooler. I don't know why. It feels like I'm on a GoPro or something. I assume the field of view is better because I feel like I've never seen this much of the map before just by looking here. Anyways, let's open up this uh, bay here, which is, oh shit, that's not opening up. Oh God, we're dead. Okay, what I meant to do was not shoot the rocket and open up the bay that allows me to shoot the rocket. So there we go, we got a rocket here. I'm gonna try and stabilize this if I can. Let's shoot that thing. There we go. Oh my god, it went flying out of here. Anyways, let's actually try and use this rare racing quadcopter. I'm not very good with quadcopters, so I don't know how long I'm gonna survive. Probably not very long. Nope. Oh god, I see the ground. Okay, meant to do that. Yeah, now we're flipping around. I clearly, clearly, I just, I just can't fly things, guys. I can't do it. Planes, I'm not so bad with, but when it comes to quadcopters, especially self-stabilizing quadcopters, my brain just can't do it for whatever reason. I do really like this rocket design though. You can actually see it like just hanging out there waiting for me to shoot it. So let's actually try and stabilize this. Okay, it's really wonky, but oh my God, like what the fuck? Jesus, well, I guess I didn't get to shoot it. So I apologize guys for my clearly lacking skill in flying things. I was hoping this new camera would change that, but that was kind of cool. I took part of the castle. But yeah, still very difficult to fly. Actually, it might even be easier. Let me just try and fly this thing as with normal with the third person be yeah you can see like i i don't know i don't know if i like first person or not regardless another very awesome quadcopter a racing focus one which i haven't really seen much of so yeah pretty cool okay and next up we got this very awesome 45 shot firework or rocket design here it's got a lot of cool little features here like a built-in camera that you can actually aim with, so that's really cool. And you can actually rotate the missile rack, which I should probably leave the thing so you can see. It uses cogs to rotate. It works really quickly, which I, which I like. A lot of these things work extremely slow. Anyways, let's raise this sucker up and start shooting some of these off. All right, we're gonna shoot off the first few. Oh, I love it. I love how they go in a certain arc too and how they bounce everywhere. It's so damn cool. All right, we're just gonna shoot them all off. How about that? There we go. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Did, did I do any damage at all? Okay, I broke their fence and I killed a few people. I gotta consider that a success. But yeah, let's just move up here to watch these things bounce off the walls because it's so fun to watch. Like, watch all these things hit the walls. There we go, it took down most of it. And they just bounce all over the place. I love these things, they're crazy. Best death sequence ever. Fireworks and blood. It's great. Okay, not only are the dragon fireworks useful for projectiles, but you can use them for propulsion as well. This is called the Dragon Plane, and it's the first craft to utilize the dragon rockets as propulsion. So let's fire this thing up and see how it works. I just killed a yak. That's great. But yes, as you can see, I don't know how long these things are going to last until they explode. It's kind of like a ticking time bomb, if you will. Or maybe they just edited it so they never explode. This is probably the fastest craft I've used in a long time as well. And these smoke trails are just so cool with these rockets. They're just so long. Oh, I just hit the wall. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're going down. Shit. Now, this also has a few camera angles. We got one in the back here and then one kind of as a cockpit view, but it looks kind of weird. So I kind of try to want to try the back one. Let's try this again here, though. Oh, my God. I just killed another person. So, yeah, I actually like this view because it just constantly stays behind the craft, which is the biggest issue with Besiege was you always had to rotate your camera as you were turning around. This makes it really easy for you to follow it. I don't actually like the cockpit view as much. If you go here, it looks just kind of weird. And I crashed already. But yes, the Dragon Plane, a very cool little plane design that I think we'll be seeing a lot more of with this uh, very awesome and new propulsion mechanism. 
And now we have a hovering Audi R8. I actually don't know how this works. I'm actually kind of impressed. I thought it was something to do with being below the ground, but it isn't. So it actually does kind of hover, as you can see. I don't know why someone decided to make an Audi R8 to be a hovercraft, but that's kind of cool. Let's see if we can actually... Oh man, it's like being on ice. This is really cool. Look, look, look at this epic drift. But I want to see if I can actually crash right through this. There we go. And... And we have flipped, but we're totally okay. What the hell is that on top of this? Where'd the blast come from? It must have had to do with something down here. Ooh, actually, there's a lot going on down here. This is interesting. I almost want to reverse engineer this to figure out what the hell's going on, but you can see that the suspension... I have no idea what's going on with this one, to be honest, but it is totally off the ground. It is definitely the first real hovercraft that I've seen in Besiege. Not only that, this is a really good representation for an Audi R8. I mean, the attention to detail here is fantastic. Look at this inside. Okay, we're back at the sandbox just to try one more thing out. I'm just curious how this thing reacts when it's taken off a jump. I don't know if it's playing with the physics or what the hell is going on with this thing, but I want to find out. So I gotta assume when I go off this jump, assuming this is actually playing with physics and it's not just like modded down here like crazy, uh, it will just go all wonky. So let's try it out here. I don't know if anything's gonna happen. Oh shit, that's not good. Okay, well, yeah, nothing really happened anyways. So yeah, the hovercrafting Audi R8. The future is now, my friends. The future is now. So it's Independence Day in Besiege. Yes, we got a very big UFO here that I can actually control. It's pretty damn cool. So on top of moving it around and doing very UFO-like things, it's got one pretty cool weapon. It's got a big flamethrower. And when I mean big, I mean pretty damn big. Holy shit, what the fuck just happened to it? Oh no! Well there's your problem. This isn't a UFO, this is a shield now, isn't it? Okay, well I guess use this flamethrower wisely because it breaks the whole thing. Oh, that's- what the fuck is this thing? That's what's happening. This is going all the way up for whatever reason and actually hitting the UFO. I've never seen that before. That is actually kind of interesting. I don't know why that would happen, because these things usually just chill here, but when I do this, yep, that's exactly what happens. So let's try this UFO at an actual castle here that's not gonna break it, and I'm just really curious to see how much damage it can do. Yeah, it just fucking burns everything. I was hoping it would actually blow up the castle, but no, it can, it can burn a few people though, I'll tell you that much. And because I'm a sick bastard, let's see what it does to the wonderful sheeps in slow motion of all things. Here we go. Oh yeah, there we go. Everything's just ignited immediately. This is hilarious. And they're all flaming sheeps and they're slowly dying. Life is great. And some of my favorite designs in this game are the snake designs. This is the flying dragon. This is actually isn't in weightlessness, by the way. There's no mods on or anything, so this flies on its own. And as you can see, it is very pretty looking. So yeah, this one's got a lot of tricks up its sleeve. It's got a different type of body. I can tell that immediately because it's actually rotating in the middle, so it doesn't get tangled up like a lot of the other designs. It actually is very easy to fly. And because it's a dragon, it's also got... Fire breath. Oh my god, the attention to detail is absolutely amazing in this thing. And you can also close the mouth when you're done breathing your fire down on filthy peasants. Let's go visit the peasants, shall we? Let's 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 see how good this thing is at taking out a village. And of course, we gotta have first person view. This is so freaking cool. Coming down. Oh my god. Alright, I gotta I gotta open up my flame breath. This is really hard to control like this. But, there we go, I'm burning the peasant village as a dragon, this is awesome. Next gen gaming, ladies and gentlemen, only in Besiege. And personally, I think I just saved the best for last because this is destruction in a nutshell. This one's called the Hoax. As you can see, it is a very weaponized creation and that is an understatement. First of all, it's got one of those crazy water cannons that can blow anything in its path and I just took out the castle with that effortless effortlessly. Then it's also got distance flamethrowers, as you can see. Let's try and get up here and uh, ignite some of these. There you go. I, I can ignite from this far away, but what's truly amazing is this weapon rack here. These are the new rockets, and it's got a very unique reloading mechanism. Look at this. Look at how they're going in there. That is truly impressive, and it's just constant. One after another, one after another. Now on top of that, the turret control is extremely quick and easy to use, and if that wasn't enough, it's also got the best cameras I've ever seen. We got the scope camera here, which actually has an aiming reticle, and then we have the loading camera here if you just like to see this sucker get reloaded, which I, of course, do. This thing is seriously amazing. 
Okay, so let's try this sucker out. First of all, let's let it stabilize a little bit here. It's I don't think it's ever gonna stabilize. You know what? We have so many rockets. Let's just let it start going. There we go. Welcome. Oh my god. This is so freaking cool and easily one of the best weaponized creations I've ever seen in Besiege. I mean, oh shit, that's not good. We had some sort of backfire there. And this is why I love Besiege so much. Adding something as simple as a rocket and a new camera mod pretty much changed the face of what Besiege is and what you can do with it. Jesus, I love how it exploded into colors. But yes, it's just so nice to see how unique and innovative this creative community in Besiege actually is. It's only been, well, six days since the release of these new blocks, and as you can see, almost every creation in this episode was unique, innovative, and utilized these new blocks. So I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. Once again, this was the best Besiege creations, and as always, thank you for watching and liking. I will see you in the next one.